Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Tomo, and today I'm going to give my thoughts, my thought on TakeOver. Well, TakeOver, also sometimes known as WWE NXT TakeOver, or TakeOver, or TakeOver 30, or TakeOver, started out with a TakeOver kickoff, and that would have Breeze Dongo fight Danny Butch and only Logan fight I believe it this is going to be said as log D Phantasma and it was a good fight and the one they were fighting who was going to be the right to go for the WWE NXT team winnings it was a good fight between all these two teams each one of them did a good job and at the end it was Breeze Dongo Tyler Breeze and Fandango who beat Danny Butch and only Logan and also the Log D Phantasma team. Also then it was TakeOver itself of Finn Balor fighting Timothy, Blan Timothy Flanchard. Good fight, you know, back and forth between a Old World Englander and an Old World Irishlander, yes. And I liked it, thought they did a good job with it. You know, the good fight. There were many times where everybody thought that Finn Bauer had it lost. Uh, but at the end, Finn Bauer beat Timothy Blan Flanchard. And then after that, it was the Risers fight for the WWE NXT North New World winnings that would have Bronze Reed fight Velveteen Dream fight Damian Priest fight Cameron Grimes fight Johnny Nagato in a Risers fight. And... It was all over the stead, you know. Every time someone thought they had it won, somebody else would stop them. Yes, the risers got worked as tools on each other. Each wrestler stopped the other. He did know who was going to win. But at the end, Damian Priest became the new WWE NXT North New World winner. Beating out Johnny Nagato and Cameron Grimes and Velveteen Dream and Ron and Reach. Then it was Pat McAfee fight Adam Cole. And this was a good fight. And for a lot of the fight, it went to Pat McAfee, who they made it look like that he had Adam Cole's, the upside on Adam Cole all through the whole fight. And Adam Cole got back into it. And there was a lot of back and forth because you didn't know who was going to win. And at the end, Adam Cole beats Pat McAfee and Pat McAfee's first fight as a wrestler. Um, then after that we had Io Sarai fight uh, well, I Dakota Kai for the WWE NXT Women's Heavyweight Winnings. And this was a good fight. And just like some of the other fights, they made it look like that the uh, that Dakota Kai had the up her hand or the upside on Io Sarai and they did all kinds of things a lot of back and forth stuff and then at the end Io Sarai beat Kota Kai and still is a WWE NXT Women's Heavyweight winner then it was Keith Lee fight uh, Killian Cross for the WWE NXT Heavyweight winnings good fight there was a lot of you know back and forth you know, every time you thought that Killian Cross had it won, Keith Lee would come back. But at the end, Damien Cro I mean, Killian Cross beat Keith Lee and became the new WWE NXT Heavyweight winner. Well, I thought all the fights on this takeover were good. The kickoff fight was good, and the fights on the show itself, or the matches, they were all good. And I liked it. Now, everyone's going to have their own thought on it and it is what it is but at the end of the day I liked it I fought NXT TakeOver or WWE NXT TakeOver or TakeOver 30 whatever you want to call it I just call it TakeOver you know I hope you like it I'm Dr. Tomo for those from the Clover Way and Pioneer 
English offshoot, and Processor Tomo for Do for Naviz uh, English offshoot. See you later.